super awesome friends. Today we are going to have a pizza party. Because I know a lot of us are missing school and some of the fun celebrations that we had, I was chatting with my friend Miss Schultz and she told me that her class had earned a pizza party and they couldn't participate. So I'm going to throw a pizza party for everybody by making a piece of art look like a pizza. So all you need for this project is some sort of paper plate. You can even use a piece of paper and cut it into a circle. Remember, we can be inventors and use our creativity to make some problem solving decisions. And then some sort of coloring tools. So things like markers, crayons, paint, construction paper, whatever you'd like to make y'all pizza. So once you get your tools gathered, then we're going to get started. Let's go. I almost forgot. We have to start with our mantra to make sure we are ready for our art lesson today. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. All right, friends, you can totally make your pizza something realistic that you would actually eat, or because it's not really a real pizza, you can turn your creation into something a little bit more inventive. For example, maybe your pizza has jelly beans on it. Maybe your pizza has glitter on it. Because it's just a pretend pizza anyways, we can get kind of crazy. So I'm going to make mine with some really bright sort of confetti shapes, and I'm gonna start first by just coloring with crayon. Remember, you can use any tools that are around you to help fill your space, but you'll want to be able to kind of make sure you go up the edge and really make your pizza huge and decorated from edge to edge. So I'm going to keep going making some little jelly beans, some little starbursts, some colorful little cheese, some details on my pizza until I feel good with the coloring part. All right, artist, I hope you are super proud of what your pizza looks like as far as the designs go with your crayons or your drawing tools. I'm gonna go back in over the top and paint a little bit so there's not so much white plate showing through. Then I might do a little bit of outlining with some black and white to kind of add some good bold outlines and highlights to really make my pizza as awesome as I can. All right, pizza chefs, you rocked it. However you decorated your pizza is amazing. Now, we're actually going to cut our pizza apart a little bit into pieces so that we can practice kind of serving it up and doing a little bit of math together. But of course, I know you could eat an entire pizza yourself, but for this project, we'll be doing a little bit of cutting. So I'm gonna cut mine in half first and then cut those halves in half, kind of like making a big, huge X, and then cut them one more time with a diagonal line. So I will end up with eight total pieces. Now my plate is kind of thick so it might be a little hard for me to cut and what you can do is on the back if you want to just mark what that's going to look like then you can see exactly where you're going to cut. So I'm going to do a straight line down the back like this. That is in half. Then I'll do another line across. That's going to give me four pieces. Then I'll cut these in half of those, kind of making a big huge star. And that's going to give me eight total pieces. So I'm going to go to town and cut my pizza into slices. My pizza looks so good, I just want to eat it. But first we're going to practice a little bit of fraction work. So when we look at a fraction, this is an example of one eighth. Now on the top, this is called the numerator, and on the bottom, this is called the denominator. It's like an action hero word. So when we think about these two parts, the top part is how many pieces we're talking about, and the bottom part is the total number of pieces that there are. So in my pizza, there are eight total pieces, and to make one eighth, I'm just gonna take one of the pieces. So my fraction for this one would look like this, just one eighth. Now, how many pieces are left over here? You guessed it, there's seven pieces left. So when I have another fraction, let's say I was looking at this one right here is one eighth, this guy right here would be seven eighths. Now let's do a little practice to try a few more kinds of fractions. So if I pull down this little number right here, say it with me, this total would be four eighths. Now four eighths is kind of a silly fraction because we can actually do something called reducing that fraction, making it a bit smaller because when we think about four eighths, it actually ends up being one half of the pizza. So let's count out four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And 
pull this to the side. Now, four eighths is half of my pizza. So these two fractions look different, but they're actually the same thing. So when I look at half of my pizza, this is what my fraction is referring to. Let's try another one. Slide that guy back together. Two eighths. Now I need to pull out two pieces from the entire total of eight. One, two, and slide that. Now, how much does this look like I've taken away from my pizza? Right, there are one, two, three, four, five, six more eighths left, which means I have one quarter or one fourth of my pizza gone. So that's another one where we can reduce or actually change the fraction so it's a little bit smaller and easier to understand. Now, this is a lot to comprehend, but it's really helpful for you to think about when you're working with these little pieces. So that's what a quarter of your pizza would look like. If that was a huge piece of pizza, oh my gosh, I would eat that thing right up. Now let's try one more and see what three eighths would look like. Now this one, we're not going to reduce or make any smaller because we can't do that with this type of fraction. So we'll look at the numerator, which is three, one, two, three, and slide those to the side and eight total pieces is what we're working with. So this part is three eighths of my fraction. Okay, I actually have one more for you. Okay, here we go. Six eighths of my pizza. So let's count that one out together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, slide that to the side and I have my extra two. That one can reduce to be three fourths of my pizza. Oh my gosh, do you think you could eat that much pizza in one sitting? I maybe could if I was super hungry. The last thing that you can do is think about how much eight eighths of your pizza would be. And we would just say that is one whole pizza. Mm, all these fractions are making me hungry. So let's do a little review and then we'll celebrate our pizza party together. Hey all you pizza lovers, thank you so much for joining me for our pizza party. I hope you had fun practicing your fractions and making your own little paper pizza. So what you can do at the end is put it in a little baggie and save it as a puzzle so you can always practice your fractions or even cut them smaller and see if you can do smaller fractions. We reviewed some fractions that are kind of the simple starting points like one half, one quarter of your pizza, three quarters of your pizza, or one eighth, which is just one slice. But if it was me, I would probably have more than an eighth of a pizza. So we know that at the end of our art lesson, we always do a little bit of motivation to make us feel super strong and ready for the rest of our day. So we're gonna take our little pizza and we're going to grab just a little slice and hold it right on your belly as if you had a little piece of pizza in your belly after you ate it. And we'll do two deep breaths. And that helps us practice our mindfulness, how we intentionally focus on something to make us ready. So here we go. Remember, you're breathing out from your belly, holding your hand right there, and take those two deep breaths. Here we go. All right, friends, I hope you had an awesome time making yourself a pizza. Now, go make a real one because I am super hungry. Remember, you are amazing. You are strong. You are resilient. And I love you. We'll see you next time.